Hey, hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be covering how to set up your contacts in KB Core the proper way so that KB Core starts closing more leads for you. That's right, you're going to see the system in action and start to convert more leads for you. But you have it all starts with setting up your contacts the correct way. If this is the first time to this channel and we're just now meeting, my name is John Kinnanen. I'm a digital marketer and I'm a licensed real estate agent in the state of Florida and in the state of Michigan as well. So everything I put out on this uh, station is things that I'm using myself that my team is using and that all the agents that I work with all across the country are all using as well so if you haven't already done so you like content about growing your business through digital marketing consider hitting that subscribe button let's get to it so first you're going to go to kbcore.com and it's going to take you to a page that looks something similar to this. You'll click on uh, all contacts right here. And the reason for this video really is because KV Core has updated its system and so I do have a previous video on this but this is just going to be an updated version. So if you want to, this has all your contacts in it right here. Um, so there's two ways to really add a contact manually. Now you can set up squeeze pages, landing pages, but you can go to add contacts right here, or add contact, or you can go to add contacts. All right, so this is where you're gonna set up, we'll, we'll set up We'll set up me, right? Um, you put in your their name, their last name, uh, their email address, we'll just, and their cell phone number, okay? Just do so and then right here it asks do you have permission to contact these this lead uh, if you do you know click yes I don't I don't encourage you to click yes if you don't really have permission to do that the lead info this is where you're gonna choose either a buyer seller renter vendor or agent um, this is very important that you set these up correctly, not just for your own records, but so that the smart campaigns uh, fire off properly. And yes, smart campaigns are campaigns that are already set up. Um, I do have other videos on smart campaigns. If you want to learn more about those uh, and how to set those up, go back to my channel and search for them. You'll find them. But what happens is uh, KB Core, because it's a buyer, will send out certain emails or text messages. And sometimes people will even be like, why are you texting me? Why are you sending me emails? Uh, we already you know, discussed this. Or they may say, don't send me any more emails. And then you're like, I don't know how, why it's doing this. I told it not to do this. I'm going to show you how to turn that off too. So right now we're just going to leave it at buyer uh, status. This is, you know, where they at, where they're at in their journey. We'll put just new lead uh, right here. The source is going to be manual ad for the sake of this video, but th sometimes they come in on like a landing page or a squeeze page or you know other ways, and it will assign it a different you know lead source. That way, you know where your leads are coming from. Lead owner is going to be me. Uh, if you're part of a team or if you're the team lead, you can uh, assign them to other agents on your team. Uh, smart campaign, you can set it up on a smart campaign to fire off. Add a lender, you could add a lender, you could CC the lender on, on things. Uh, and any notes you may have about this, this lead or this contact. And then what you do is you click on add contact, okay? Next thing you're going to do is it's going to bring you to a screen that looks something similar to this right here. So on the left hand side you have all their information. You can edit it um, just by clicking on the little pencil. Let's click save. You can edit their phone number, email address. You can put their address in. Um, it's important to put their, their address in like that so that uh, I'll show you why in a little bit though. I'm not going to get ahead of, ahead of ourselves here. Um, you can put add hashtags here and hashtags are very important because you can search through your contacts for uh, certain hashtags, uh, sphere of influence or buyers or sellers or you can set up campaigns uh, to fire off based on what hashtag they are assigned. So maybe you want every all your sphere of influence to get 
a certain email you know or a certain text uh, so you can separate them by that so it's very important to give them uh, hashtags you know like hashtag buyer seller uh, put a county after it though so that if uh, say you know of a listing coming up or you have a listing in that area and so you just uh, send an email out to everybody that's interested in that in that area because you have them sorted by hashtags and it makes it a lot easier that way uh, here's a summary uh, as you uh, you know if you can always add stars or take away stars from them if uh, as they go through the journey uh, and they're a good lead or a bad lead you know you can run a contact validation and you can find their social media accounts and things like that uh, let's see what will it do if I do that uh, I didn't really put any real information in there so it says email quality is excellent uh, you can go with more it gives you an age a range um, you know a gender a location um, do you see more items and then you're all the way down here. You can transfer this lead to somebody else. Up here is where uh, you can move them along to an, maybe you put them into an active lead or a client. Uh, and when you do these things, it says this action could affect or remove the currently assigned smart campaigns. Because like I said, certain campaigns are gonna fire off based on where they are in their journey and you know if it's a buyer or a seller or renter vendor or agent um, down here it's gonna have uh, basically any com uh, comments you or you know like text messages that come in from um, emails that come in from them. they'll all be stored here so you can go back through you can take notes here leave the notes in here things like that uh, that we'll cover that at the end there up here on the right hand side though you have all your actions let's go through these real quick you got a new call you can call them right from here uh, choose what phone number you're gonna call select the number and then you can log the call your phone will be called before the other party is connected so you can click call now and it's gonna call your cell phone and then it will start ringing on their end too you can log the call you can schedule a call with them if you'd like um, so that's that's that option you can add a note into which will show up right here uh, you can send them an email uh, advanced editor I was wondering there you go part of the new update here is you can use this advanced editor to actually send them emails you just build out the the email like this and you can add text take away text uh, you can send them a text message um, if you wanted to include a property, you just put the MLS ID in here, send them a message, hey, check out this property. Voicemail drop, you only can do, I think it's called uh, Voice Core or something like that, or Core Voicemail. I don't have it. it some things may be, uh, there's a different plan, uh, $20 per month, $30, $50, uh, just depending on if you're going to use it or not. I don't really use it. It's kind of like slide dial all in one. Hey, I want to talk to you about a very important feature here on YouTube. It's that like button down in the corner. Please consider liking this video and put in the comments below what you've learned. I'd greatly appreciate it. Area core video is uh, actually it's bomb 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 is uh, integrated with KB core so that you can send out videos to uh, your clients video emails video is huge, right? Now here we have more actions. We're gonna go through and we'll go through all these. You can add a task, um, something to complete on a certain day or a certain time. You can share the context, send uh, valuation, uh, like a home valuation, transfer the lead, merge the contacts. That figure like you have two contacts. Um, one of them you have the email, one you have the phone number. You can merge them together and then you have one full contact all in one place. You can unsubscribe them from emails. This is what I'm talking about. If people are like, you keep emailing me. I don't want your emails. Um, you can unsubscribe them. You can do the same with text messages as well. Uh, turn off behavioral alerts. Um, this is when somebody visits your website, say they haven't visited for you know 14 days, 28 days, 30 days, and then they revisit your website, send you a text and an email just letting you know. Uh, 
You can archive the lead, delete the contact, rerun the lead through distribution, export contact data, delete contact data. And then you can find them on Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, uh, PIPL, I don't know what that is, or Spokio. I don't know what those two are. I don't use them, I guess. Um, but you can find them on Facebook and then you can uh, send them messages. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, then you can start a core concierge follow-up. Um, this is kind of like people follow up with your leads for you. You can hire someone to do that. I don't, personally, I don't use this. I don't see the point in using this because I have VAs that follow up with my leads for me. I got prop, you can set up property alerts, okay? So alert, you can go to it from right here or here. This is very important. If they are a brand new lead and they are a buyer, you can just go to alerts. You're allowed to set up two alerts. Um, and how you can set, we can walk through setting up alert. You just go to set alert here. You can type in say an area or a county or an address. Um, choose that county. You could draw on the map even. So you could draw an area. Well, let's see. First, it's making me. So now you can draw on the area if you'd like. Whoop. Anyways, you get the, you get it. Uh, you can go to. Let's see. You do their pro, or, uh, listing type, single family. Usually is what I do. Price range, bedrooms. Uh, bathrooms minimum square feet um, keywords like you know maybe they want to have a pool or you know something you put their email address or a CC email address in here maybe there's somebody else they want to CC on it and you uh, choose how often you want them to receive it maybe they're at the beginning stages so you just do it monthly or they're hot leads so you do it ASAP um, and then you click on save and send or you can just click on set alert once you've done that you can either set alert and it will email them the next time a home comes on the market or at the beginning of the month or beginning of whatever you have set or you can do a save and send and it will send it right now and then start sending it periodically throughout here's where you can turn the lead or say you have it already all set up say I do a set alert so I have a alert set here's where you can come in you can turn the lead or the alert on and off okay say they've uh, found a beautiful home they're all set you just turn it off then so we go back to timeline here and you can also set the property alerts from right here just like I said active campaigns right now it has the this one it is active because it's a buyer you can add you know a smart campaign if you'd like uh, market reports uh, market reports you know you just choose say a county and then you could have it set up so every 28 days it sends it sends them a market report or every 14 days it sends them a market report on what is going on with the market in that area now this next one is very important. So say they are a seller. Okay, updated, updated contact. Okay, so you have to have this next one selected for them to actually receive this. So say you go turn buyer off and now they're, well, I guess they could be a buyer and a seller. So you put the, say you put a property address in there, right? And, um, say you put that in there then you click save now it tells you the listing valuation this is just some number that you know isn't always right sometimes it is right not very often um, but it's just kind of like like the zestimate kind of a thing just spits out a number here but now you can send it now and then because you have them chosen as a seller it's going to send them that listing valuation every so often and it's going to put them into a different set of sequences when it comes to that smart campaign now you got your seller report uh, add an MLS number and then you click on add there so this is then if you want everything in one area 
you just go to profile details here and you can edit the details by clicking on edit um, here say right here you'll have all their social media accounts on there if you went through that part that I showed you and capture method right now there is no capture method here because well I manually added it uh, see right here it says manual add um, capture method if it came in on a landing page or a squeeze page it would have that what page it came on um, validation or valuation as for that like we j I just showed you you can add a spouse here you can add their birthdays in here so you can send out birthday emails um, all their contact information home preferences this is where you can get to alerts files uh, transactions if you've had transactions with them before I don't ever use this part to be honest with you um, task you know you can set up tasks just like I showed you but if you set this up correctly you are gonna see KV course start to close more leads for you as you get hundreds and thousands of leads in here it's virtually impossible to keep up with them all on your own so it's nice to have a system like this this is KV core this is something that's provided to us here at my brokerage uh, it, it's included with our uh, $85 monthly fee so this is why I know so much about this program I troubleshoot it a lot with the agents that I work with here at eXp and I use it on a daily basis so if you have any other questions um, about this uh, platform put them in the comments be below I'll circle back around and if you want to have our digital ad agency run your ads for you click on the link below and this is the kind of stuff that I do for my agents that I partner with here at eXp Realty so if that's something that you're thinking about doing is joining eXp Realty. I'd love to have a conversation with you about that. I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy lead generating. But remember, generating the lead isn't the end of the story. That's just the beginning. Now you have to have a strong nurture campaign, a strong drip campaign. I have my 365 drip campaign in the um, in one of the videos that I've done previously. Go back and watch it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have an awesome week. Bye.